welcome to Just in the Kitchen with me, your host Justine. Today I am making fried green tomatoes. And any southerner knows that when tomatoes first start coming in, they're green and you don't eat them on a sandwich. You can pickle them, you can put them in a chow chow, or you can fry them. And that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to fry green tomatoes. Um, when I grew up, my mom just used to use cornmeal and then I thought, well, what can I do to zhuzh it up? Because I do like the cornmeal, but I don't know, sometimes the crunch wasn't always there. And so I decided to do it another way. We're going to go to it, but let me just go to my ingredients first. I have panko salted. I salted them. Panko breadcrumbs. I have flour, just all-purpose flour. Salted that too. I have eggs right here. And I have buttermilk, hot sauce, and Crisco. And of course, let's not forget these lovelies, green tomatoes. Let's go to the stove. Or let's go to the breading station and I'll show you how they're done and we'll start from there. Now I take my eggs, I add some hot sauce, just a little bit, maybe a teaspoon. Then I add buttermilk. I like the tang that the buttermilk gets. I like the spice that the red hot Frank's Red Hot gives, and I just mix it. So what you really should do is just lop it. I don't like wasting all of that, so I just cut the core out, and then I have a tomato that has a hole in it. Then I just cut them maybe about an inch, three quarters of an inch, half an inch take them, I've ran them under a little water to get them a little moist because I want the flour to stick to them. Take a green tomato, put it in the salted flour, try and get the edges too. Everything's got to be covered, right? Make sure this is mixed up. I did a really good job of mixing it. If I do say so myself. Then I dip it in there. Pull it out and I put it in the panko. Whoops. Now, I usually use a whole box and a half depending on how many I have. I get them in the sides. See how that flour helped the egg stick and the egg stick helped make the panko? There you go, you know your flour's done. My hands were all grubby with monster hands from the, the dough or from the station. And so I just kind of flicked them in there. Put them in the oil. And I love my scan pan because I can put more in and I can get them done quicker. But you don't want to crowd the pan and bring the temperature down. Don't touch them until they get brown, and then you can flip them. When we were younger, we used to eat them, fried green tomatoes, with ketchup. So I thought I'd judge up my ketchup and add a little sriracha in it, a little Worcestershire, and I already put lemon juice in it. Just mix it up. Mmm, that is so good. And a little spice kick. If you don't like it, um, I'll also put the other sauce I make. See how the holes in the, let me know, it's time to flip that one. And you'll notice on the sides, they're going to start getting a little brown. See how that is? And I know it's time to flip. See right there? Starting to brown. That's how you know the other side's getting done. And if both sides are done, yep, I can flip them. Mm. Don't those look great? We'll be right back. 
I can't wait, my mouth is watering. What I'll do when I take them out of the pan, I'm gonna sprinkle salt on them right away so it'll stick. What I do, I look underneath. Yep. Can you see that it's done? And I put it on a paper towel to soak up the grease. I have all the other ones out, as you can see. Just take my oil off the heat. Look at those. Oh. Luscious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't wait. Here are my luscious, luscious green, fried green tomatoes with my sriracha ketchup. Oh, can you hear me cutting into that? Oh, and look how good the crust stuck on that. Mm. See the tomato inside? There's still, um, a little crunch to the tomato. It's not mushy. It is still very hot, but oh my goodness, it is very good. You have to make these. These are not like your mom's green tomatoes, fried green tomatoes. These are crispy, they're not mushy on the inside, they are luscious. You can eat it with the sriracha ketchup. And like I said, I will put the um, other sauce that I serve with this down at the bottom of it. Mm. This for me would be just a dinner, the whole thing. Very good. Remember, what do I want you to do? Like, share, and subscribe me on Facebook, YouTube. Tell me, put your comments below. Down below in, um, I will have, down below, I'll have the recipe for this. It's really easy. Mm. And if you can't find it down below, Go to www.justinthekitchen.com for this recipe and many more that I'm putting out. If you hit that bell, that bell will notify you when I put new recipes up on YouTube, not on Facebook. So, talk to you later. God bless. Bye.